Shalom Israel. Once, twice, thrice, I want to give all praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Brakothu Yahweh, Brakothu Yahweh Shai, Brakothu Yahweh, Brakothu Yahweh Shai, Brakothu Yahweh, Brakothu Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Brakakwadash. You know, as I said, once, twice, thrice. <laughs> what I really mean is for eternity, forever. We give exaltation to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Brakoth Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Ba'asham Rakakwadash. Yeah, I'm just want to meditate. You know, meditate and think about things. You know, think about what is to come. Yeah? Because, as you know, brothers and sisters, we really and truly, really and truly want to get out of this, of this place, you know? Get out of this place. You see, I'm pointing up into the sky. Sometimes when you meditate and you look up, it's actually sometimes you could pitch yourself way up into the clouds. You can pitch yourself sometimes, you know. What it feels like to fly, you know. What it feels like to have spiritual power. That must be an awesome, awesome feeling, yeah. Right? Look at the formation of the clouds. Formation of the clouds is so sweet, it's so beautiful. Yeah, just think about it. That's our Lord's creation, yeah? Our Heavenly Father. It's so beautiful, it's so sweet. As I'm pointing up into the um, sky now, it'd be lovely to see a chariot, yeah? Just a sign, just a beautiful sign for us, you know, living in hope, living in hope, brothers and sisters, because that hope is coming, that hope is coming very near, it's very soon, it's around the corner, but we need to get through that obstacle. There's obstacles in the way, spiritual obstacles, physical obstacles. We have to prove, we have to prove ourselves to our Heavenly Father, our beautiful power, Yahweh, our beautiful power, Yahweh Shai. Yeah? It's all about Yahweh Basham Yahshai, yeah? You know, when you sit there and meditate, you, you know, you look up. You look up. When it's a, like a, a nice, bright day, when the clouds are lily white, you have one or two grey patches, but in between you have some really bright patches. Yeah? And you could see beyond the clouds. And you say, wow, what would it be like to be sitting? Sitting! On those clouds. Hey, that must be a beautiful feeling, yeah? But, like I said, we're still here. You know, back to reality. You know, what I want to talk about is that pride. You know, we need. We are all filthy rags. We are all filthy rags. I am a filthy rag. Right? We want that grey, filthy rag to change into white, immaculate, clean, fresh, right? Let me see if I could find a cloud that looks so beautiful and, and 
clear and white white as snow yeah all right some clouds are dark there and some are just beautiful and light this is what we after right so what i want to talk about is that is this you know this the pride we need to get rid of that pride yeah we've got so much pride in our flesh right we've got so much pride that is this keeping us down that's why we must keep on praying keep on praying brothers and sisters to try and get that pride away from us we all have pride let's face it come on wake up yeah as they say in England here smell the coffee wake up and smell the coffee no matter how that coffee is weak no matter how that coffee is strong wake up we all got pride if you turn around and look at my face because now nah, I have no pride listen to me you better check yourself because I'm full of pride. I'm full of pride. And we need to get that out of our flesh. We need to get out of our flesh. Yes? Because pride is what's running this world. And we are in this world. Right? So it's a part of us. It's a part of us. And we have to try our best to... to be closer to our power, our highest, highest power. Yahweh Basham Yahshai, to our best of our ability to get rid of that pride. Yeah? That pride is a killer. It will prevent you from sleeping. It will prevent you from moving on. It will prevent you from moving on. Yes? We want to be in the clouds, brothers and sisters. We need to be flying in the clouds. We need to take off. When this, this rulership falls and the new kingdom takes over, the new rulership on this earth, this present earth right now, as I'm sitting here right now, looking up into the clouds, it's going to be renewed. You want to be sitting there in that same position the same position I am in now sitting down looking up into the clouds that our power has made you're sitting down at the same spot and you're saying to yourself right this is the new kingdom now you know this is the new heaven this is the new earth and imagine you're going to take off into the clouds Take off into the clouds. Yeah? Hey? And look at that. That's the spirit, right? There's something floating in the air. But it looks like it's somebody's... Um, that's the spirit. But it's somebody's balloon or something. Right? That's somebody's balloon. You'd have loved, I would have loved this to be a chariot. You see? But that's somebody's balloon. Can you see it, brothers and sisters? Can you see it? I hope and pray that you can see it. But that looks like a balloon or something. Right? I hope you can see it. Alright? Wow, that's beautiful, huh? You can see it, brothers, sisters. I hope when I look back, um, you could see it. But it would have been so beautiful. That would have been so, so sweet. If that was a chariot right now. Yeah? But I'm going to keep on looking. Because you never, ever, ever, ever know what is possible. You know? It could be a chariot. It could be a chariot. But no. That would be so sweet. That would be so beautiful. Yeah? But you know, you sometimes you look and you wonder. If I see it doing anything spectacular, like move up fast or quick, you see? That's a nice, it's going into the, you see by the clouds, see the contrast now? The clouds. I hope you could be seeing this. But like I said, most likely, it's, um, 
It's a balloon. So I'm just waiting now for it to see it do something spectacular, like shoot off. Then we know. But we don't know. Chariots can move in many different forms, in different ways. Yeah? Right? You're still looking, brothers and sisters? You're still looking? If you could see it? I pray you can see it. Because I was just talking about chariots. And it'd be so nice to see a chariot. Yeah? Anyway, that's still spiritual, yeah? That someone, if it is a balloon, someone um, let that balloon off into the, um, into the clouds. Yeah? Still spiritual, isn't it? I didn't have to see a balloon in a cloud now. All praise and glory due to you. How about Shami Shai? But let me just get back into this quick thing I wanted to talk about. Right? I just wanted to talk about this pride. Pride is really... Brothers, sisters, I'm telling you. I pray to our Heavenly Father to remove that pride away from me. Because I'm filled with pride. Yeah? I'm filled with it. And that's why we need these new bodies. We need this new rulership. We need this new life. Right? We need this new kingdom to come. So we could all, we can all be happy. We want to be happy, don't we? We really and truly want to be happy. See? That's Esau's chariot. You remember, they got a blessing too, you know. But... They stole everything from us. They stole everything from us. Right, so let me just get back to what I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to stay too long. Yeah. I didn't want to stay too long. Right, so let me get back to what I was saying about the pride. Now I'm going to call this lesson here Keeping Up. With the Joneses, you know? All of that's carnal. It's carnal. But we all got that pride in us. Pride comes in many, many different forms. Right? So keeping up with the Joneses, that is also a form of pride. And I tell you what word, <laughs> I've been using this word for the past what say 20 years and this word came to mind and it's the word avaricious avaricious that just came to my mind this morning avaricious when you tell a person you're so avaricious yeah and when you check it out now avaricious means from the adjective Having or showing an extreme greed for wealth or material gain. You hear what I'm saying? Keeping up with the Joneses. Alright? It's that pride. We all have pride. I'm not telling you I have pride when I look at a person's things and I say I want more. Because pride comes in many forms. Greed. Yeah? Yeah? Extreme greed for wealth or material gain. That's why I said to you, say, that's why I'm saying to you, brothers, is we need to get out of this place because we are in this corruptible flesh. This flesh is terrible, brothers and sisters. This flesh is terrible. Yeah? And although we are in the truth, we still got pride. And we need to fight that pride. We need to get rid of that pride. Yeah? Alright? You remember that song? I think it was... Um, with... Uh, what's her name ago? That woman with the long legs. The, the old woman with the long legs. She always sings with the long legs. Um, and she sings simply the best. Better than all the rest. Yeah? Oh, what's her name again? Oh, it, I, on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I don't waste time and try to remember now. 
because you know I've got my, my memory is like a like a sif right I remember something and within minutes it just goes yeah Tina Turner that's it simply the best yeah better than all the rest listen to me right you don't want to get that pride into you when you see a brother have something special do not covet your brother do not cover your brother. Do not your sisters. Do not cover your sister. All right, it's that pride again because you want what they have. So therefore, you have your gift. That's if the Most High has blessed you with a gift, and you want and you see their gift, and you want their gift too. You're coveting somebody because you want know you want the double. You want your gift and their gift to be on top. You're going to be better than them. Yeah? Like it's a blessing. It's a blessing when you see other brothers in the camp. That could speak a different language. Yes? Right? I only could speak English. I only could speak English, but I can't speak another language. So when you see a brother could speak another language, it doesn't matter what other language it is. Right? If you're from Tanzania, if you're from France, if you're from um, um, Spain, yes? If you're from Italy, okay? Once you could speak another language, it's beautiful. So when you see another person come up in the camp and you could translate for them like the head that says, Oh, listen, speak to this brother. And they change the language. But you hear Yahweh Shai come out though. Yahweh Basham Yahweh comes out though. You can't change that language because the matter, that word, that names Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai is universal throughout the four corners of the earth. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. That is universal. That's why you have pride. This word is full of pride. The word English, you have to speak English throughout the four corners of the earth because it's pride, because they just take over. Because they want that to be a universal thing, no matter where you go, right? If you fly in a plane, if you're if you're a, um, a, a, a pilot, right? And if you're French, if you're Spanish, or whatever, you have to learn English. You see what I'm saying? It's a it's, it's a fact. It's a known fact. You have to learn that language because it's a pride. It's a pride of this world. Yes, it's a pride. We want to get that pride out of us. Pride comes in many, 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 many 3,000 trillion forms. And the most I hate pride. And you know what? I am full of pride. Because I'm in this flesh. Acknowledge your pride. Acknowledge your wicked ways. And pray to our Heavenly Father to please help us remove that pride. Because pride runs this world. And if you could get that pride out of your system, out of your spirit, that spirit, that, that evil spirit that's trying to take you over, believe you me, man, you'll be surprised how different, you'll be surprised how different you feel. You feel light. Actually, you might feel like you want to take off into the clouds. Yes. You would want to go into the clouds, brothers and sisters, because you're light. We want that light feeling. Yes? So I've got a couple of scriptures here. In, um, in Proverbs. Yeah? Because like I said to you. <laughs> that trait. That pride. That, e that wicked way is not of the Lord. That trait is not from our Lord our power. Yes? That, that pride. You cannot boast to say, yes, you want to be on top. You want to be better than the rest. It's the most high gives the increase. The most high gives the increase. Right? Only the Lord, our power, can boast of himself. He's the only person, our power, person, power, only can boast. Yes? Only our power can boast. 
Nothing's ab above our Father and nothing's below our Father. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rekakodash. I love to call those names. I love it. I love to call my power Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rekakodash. I love to say that words from my mouth. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai. I love to call those names. I love to call those names. It's so sweet. It's so sweet, brothers. It's so sweet. Those names are beautiful. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahushai. Huh? So the first scripture I want to bring out now is in Proverbs 28. Verse 25 to 28. Right? And it reads here. He that is of a proud heart stirreth up strife, but that putteth his trust in the Lord Yahweh shall be made fat. Right? He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. You see, I'm saying we mustn't trust in our own heart. Do not succumb to pride. You're trusting in your heart, which is your mind. You see what people have, you see what brothers have, you see what sisters have, and you want it. You remember, I said pride comes in many, many forms, and that's an evil trait, a wicked trait, right? <laughs> He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. But whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Delivered. There is that, that's the main thing we want, brothers and sisters, to be delivered into the clouds with the Hawabar Sham Yao Shai. Isn't that right? Yeah? Verse 27, he that giveth unto poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Continue to be poor, continue to be humble. Don't look for riches, don't look for gain. That wealth, that extreme wealth, there's nothing wrong in having money. Hey, but when it comes to extreme Remember, when it comes to the extreme, everything becomes excessive and that is not of the Lord. The Lord could give you things in excess, but He knows. He knows our heart. He knows we can't handle it. We can't control that kind of wealth. That's why the Most High gives us bits and pieces to chew on. That's why we have to start with the milk, then we go on to the meat. And still when He gives us the meat, He has to control the meat that He gives us. Because we cannot control ourselves, no matter who you are in this kingdom. The Most High knows who to give and how much to give. Right? He knows. So the next one I want to say now is um, verse 28. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. So, you know, this devil, this evil spirits, this devil, this kingdom, this rulership, the prideful, they know what they're doing. But they want to hide. They wanna, their pride wants to put us down. Yeah, keep us low. Right? But when they when they perish, the righteous increase. So don't worry. They're at the bottom. We're at the bottom right now. We've been put down. Just believe what the scriptures say. One day you'll be up there in the clouds. And who is up there? They're going to be brought back down. Down. And you're going to be above them. 
Because there is only for a matter of time. Because when they perish, who's going to take over? You are going to take over, brothers. Yes. You are going to take over, sisters. Hey? Eh? You're going to take over. You're going to take over. Just watch out for that increase. The righteous increase. Once you're righteous, you will increase. That's why we need to get that pride off us. Yeah? He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Right? Last two verses now I want to get. In the same Proverbs 29 now. Right? Proverbs 29, 22 to 23. An angry man stirreth up strife. Because listen to me, think about it. When you're full of pride, you're not happy, you know. Because you want to keep up with the Joneses. Whatever they have, you want. And what that does, that puts pride. That puts stress on you. That puts tension on you. Because you're going to try your utmost best to be better than that person. That pride. You hear what I'm saying? That pride. We need to get rid of that pride. Right? It stirs up strife. All of a sudden you're going to be start going against a brother. Right? Carrying news. Yeah? How does the scripture go again? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, uh, when you... Uh, oh... Um, Salakia is on the tip of my tongue. I'll try remember in a minute if the spirit allows me to remember. Yeah, I'll try remember. Discourse, woo! Praise Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rekha Kodash. Right? You don't have to, you don't have to push discourse, yeah, within the brethren. We want to try to live. It happens because we're in the spirit. As I said, we're all full of pride. That's how we could get rid of it or lower it by putting our trust in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. Yahweh Shami Yashai. Right? An angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. You see that? Furious. He's getting angry now. Huh? Aboundeth. He aboundeth in that. He's getting angry now. And that in transgression increases and increases, it gets more and more. Eh? So you could put back those words, Tina Turner, simply the best, better than all the rest. No. Listen, brothers have their own talent. We must have other brothers higher than other brothers. Man, I tell you something, man. I my brothers, I brothers are way above me. And I'm pleased with that because I learn from my brothers. I don't care how low you are in the camp. If you're a reader in a camp, if you're holding the signs in a camp, I don't give a, I don't give a shite who you are in a camp or doing videos or trying to edify someone. I don't care who you are. Yes, I look up to you because you're spreading the word. It's all about the word. Right? Right? You saw the grass is beautiful. You saw the grass is green and beautiful, right? It's a balance. It's a balance. That grass is so beautiful and clean. Right? So from green to blue, that's what we want. That balance. Right? You don't see grass in the air, are you? It's a balance. The most high is a perfect balance. So you want from the blue to the green. That balance. Right? Beautiful balance. Beautiful balance. You see? How beautiful our Lord is. Last verse. So lucky for... Wake up, brothers and sisters. Wake up. I hope I'm not making you fall asleep because I know I'm pushing it a little bit too long. Right? I didn't expect it to go so long. Right? The verse one. The last one now. So that is um, Proverbs 29. Verse 22 to 23. Verse 23. A man, a man's pride shall bring 
him low. You see that? But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Babakusha, Babakusha, Babakusha. Pray for humbleness, brothers and sisters. Pray for humbleness. Even though brothers will let you down, even sisters will let you down, just take it. It's, it hurts. You pray to the Most High, you know, maybe, they, maybe I'm doing wrong. You pray to the Most High, no, sir, please search up my heart. Maybe I'm doing things wrong. Please, Baba Kusha, correct me in your prayer. Tell the Most High, please, you want that pride to move. So you don't know. So when a brother corrects you, a sister corrects you, you know, if they're doing wickedness, maybe it's the Most High did that. But, you know, but the, the brother must always uplift you again. The sister must always uplift you straight away. You must uplift it straight away. Right? So you could tell when people do it in maliciousness or anger or jealousy. But, you know, if that was meant to happen through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai, maybe that was supposed to happen. Everything man's going is of the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yashai. I'm telling you, nothing can be above Yahweh. Nothing can be below Yahweh Basham Yashai. Glory be to Yahweh Basham Yashai, Basham Rakar Kudash. Glory be to our Heavenly Father. Yeah? Glory be. So I said it one more time before I close it out. Proverbs 29, 23. A man's pride shall bring him low. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. So when you pray to the Most High Yahweh Shami to remove all that hump, that, that, that pride, that pride, the opposite of pride is being humble, isn't it? We want to be humble. I want to be humble as, as much as possible. I want to be beautifully humbly, humble. I pray for that. Yeah? And we all should pray for that humbleness and meekness meekness mildness sincerity softness don't get me wrong not softness in a way that people just step on you like that but trust me if you are sincere the most I would tell you that that person is stepping on you and that's what the most High is doing telling us what Esau is doing to us the wicked what they're doing to us. And we know that. And we see that. Alright. And we've proved that. Through the scriptures. We've proved it through the scriptures. Oh I wish I could just hold this. I wish I could just you know. Point to the clouds. All the time. And just. They show the beauty of our Lord. But I know I'm going long and long. Right. But it's just in the spirit. Just looking. Like I want to shut off this video now. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shom Yahshai. I want to just meditate, look in the clouds, look into the um, beautiful, beautiful clouds that our Lord has made. And just take it from there, you know, meditate and pray on the brothers, pray on the sisters. Don't just pray for yourself, pray for your brothers, to uplift your brothers, uplift your sisters. Or do you see your brothers low, you pray for them, where they're high, you still pray for them. Let's not be bad-minded, yeah? Let's not be jealous. Let's remove that pride, <laughs> all right? And we all have pride. Admit first. Admit first that you have pride. Admit first that you have dirty rags. Admit first that you will always have dirty rags. Until your Haoba Shamishai comes back. Yeah? So brothers, my beautiful brothers, elders, apostles, come down to our brothers. Shalom. So lucky for making this too long. I only wanted to do this for about 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Or not even 20 I want you to bring a couple of verses. But, like I says, it's beautiful when you spend time, when you meditate with the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yashai. It's so beautiful, yeah? It's so beautiful. And the Lord is coming back soon, yeah? So with all that, give all praises and glory to our power, Yahweh Ba'asham Yashai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, 
Rocka through your hawa shai. Rocka through your hawa. Rocka through your hawa shai. Kal, halal, yahawa, bahasham. Yahawa shai, bahasham. Raka kodash. Beautiful yahawa bahasham, yahawa shai. Please come back soon to help us. Please come back soon, Heavenly Father. Help us. We all need you. Yahawa shai. We need you. Babakasha, Babakasha, Babakasha. Tawada, Amen. Shalom, brothers. I love you. And Shalom, sisters. I love you too. Shalom.